So hi everyone. Uh, now I have with me Dr. Piyush Milind. He has uh, cleared his FMG exam uh, with a score of 150. Heartiest congratulations, Piyush. And uh, Thank you. Kesa lag raha hai abhi? I'm बहुत अच्छा लग रहा है. Finally relieved after so much of hard work. That's finally true. Finally passed. Yes. And especially yes. coming from Ukraine, and since whatever going on is in Ukraine, that war and yeah. Before that, COVID, it was a terrific thing. So going through all that and eventually passing FMG was yes. a great thing. I think it was a very tough time, which you have seen. And uh, to maintain your uh, you know, focus was a big, big thing. So yes. hats off. And the uh, paper was also very difficult on top of that. Yes. yes. And it was atypical. So maybe Piyush, thoda sa, maybe you can tell us about your strategy and also more than the strategy. Mujhe aap se ye bhi jana hai ki how did you keep your mental health, your focus, your calm amidst the war, amidst COVID? Matlab kaise manage kiya? And far away from home. Yes. Um, all I can say is uh, we should always remember our purpose. Ki hum, hume, hum kya karne aaye the. So Thank instead you. of all the distractions, be made be the war, made be anything else. Yeah. So we had to stay focused. Then for mental health, we can like I used to do a bit of yoga and all. So okay. it helped me stay focused. And so, right. Yeah. I think uh, it it is very difficult to do it. Mujhe yes. aise sunne mein shayad asan lag raha ho, magar I understand ki jab aap sach mein us situation mein hote ho. So uh, it is a totally different thing altogether, you know. Yeah. So Abhi Piyush, kaise beta apne padhai kari? What was your strategy? Thoda sa uske baare mein uh, aap batao hume. Yes, uh, my strategy was uh, solving uh, as many as MCQs possible. Okay. And especially my recommendation to all the future FMGs and as well as the other students would be only the main thing would be solve as many as questions possible, may it be any source, and as many as GTs. Right. Uh, what I, yeah, I have also gone through that. I used to fear to give GTs initially because Thank sometimes you. we fear that, okay, I can get a bad score or yeah. my preparation is not up to date. So, so people fear to give the GTs. So please don't, uh, even if you get low score, it's absolutely fine. Just go through the final solutions and then get the concept and then again give the another GTs and keep giving it. So eventually, before the exam, you will reach that mark and you will pass. That was the key thing which I had uh, followed. And plus I had joined uh, uh, DAMS DFX course for this. So it helped me a lot in the end for the last one month, one, one and a half month. It was a great support plus the test series, which was along with the DAMS DFX. The yeah. questions and the core, like the relations between the questions, which came, were, were there in the test series and which came in the exams, were terrific. So it was very nice. Thanks for thanks to Dance for that. Thank you for making us a part of your journey. We are happy that we could contribute in some way, yes, right? And uh, Piyush, I also want to know something about the exam day because you know, as we say, that when paper unexpected, hota hai, a lot of us lose yes. calm also. Yes. And many have seen that many children between paper 1 and paper 2, they actually got very nervous and couldn't perform mm. that well in paper 2. Mm. So, do you want to tell about the paper, subjects, and how yes. you went about it? Uh, between the papers, even if, let's say, uh, uh, part 1 was difficult, so instead of thinking about the part 1, uh, just think about the part 2 and prepare for its strategies. And mm. uh, like, you can go through the main points uh, through your notes between those uh, two papers. And okay. instead of getting demotivated, it's OK. Like Even if it was a bad, so let's work hard and keep our mind calm for the part yeah. two. So nothing to worry about. It's OK. Finally, it's a paper, nothing big. So. And kuch, uh, do you want to say something about subject distribution? Which se subjects' ke questions were the kya difficult? Do you want to tell us something uh P psm was a bit uh, and then gynec again as usual there were a lot of questions and this time uh yeah. there were a lot less pyqs uh, i mean direct pyqs though the concept 
uh, did repeat it, but mm-hmm. as it is, PYQs had been very less, and the Thank questions you. had been lengthy and a bit twisted this time. So right. the main thing is, if your concept is clear, uh, you can crack any questions. And one thing which I learned during, especially Sumer sir taught uh, during the DFX classes, he used to tell that exclusion. I mean, if we let's say not know the answer of that particular question, so we can just remove the options. Okay, okay. The, let's say the B option is not correct, and D, and eventually A is not correct. Okay, then C is the leftover. So you can go for that. And once uh, go with your first instinct. If you know the concept and you think that okay that particular option is correct, so you should go with the first instinct generally because that's most of the time correct. So and in the end, if you have time left with you after solving all the questions, generally uh, people tend to change. I have like asked a couple of my friends, they go and in which they have marked yeah. as review, they go there and then change the options and there Thank they you. make the mistake. So instead right. of changing options, unless and until you are sure about that, please don't change the options. Correct. Very correct. I uh, completely agree with you. And now, Piyush, I want to ask, suppose abhi koi preparation shuru kar for the def- December exam. What would be your uh, you know input for them? Um, you can go uh, first, like the syllabus, check for the syllabus, like for which subject has uh, weightage. And according to that, you can start off with and okay. solve you can go with like which i had followed the strategy just solve the give one gt one or two gts you will get an idea that okay this is the pattern of the paper because Thank nowadays you. they have changed it and once you get an idea then you can prepare accordingly okay these these are the topics and these are the concepts which have been asked more frequently in the past fmgs so you right. can start off with those topics and those subjects as an psm you. has been the long uh, like most weightage, weightage questions from PSM, then medicine was there, then surgery, ops gyne. So you can start off with these major subjects. And once you get these, then you can go for the minor ones as well. Right. I think that's a fair thing to do. Ki se bal kaana hai, let's first cover those up. Yes, let's cover correct. ground first. But yes. not at the same time, not leave the other thing, uh, yes. subject. Because you are getting questions from every subject, be it anatomy, yes. be it physio, be it even psychiatry, right? So, yes, definitely. And last year, I remember the last attempt, uh, the January attempt, I remember the syllabus which FMG had gave that ophthalm mm. would be only five or six questions. But mm. eventually in the exam, there were around 15 plus questions in ophthalmology. So right. you should never neglect, made, as you said, the psychiatry, uh, which is generally the most neglected subject, being only yeah. five questions, as they say. So just don't uh, neglect, because these are the high scoring subjects in the sense uh, let's think of a student who has 149 and he makes a mistake in psychiatry. So that would be yeah. a big blunder for him or her to make. So to miss a, even a small subject. That's absolutely right. I think you've pointed out on important points on important things. And uh, it will be really helpful for people who are preparing. Maybe Unjinka is bar thoda sa reh gaya hai. Maybe they'll also get a clear insight ki unno ne kya yes, alag kiya aur kya change kar sakte hai. Hai Yes. Na? Uh, also, Piyush, I would like to say that the uh, momentum continue to keep And in this gear, mein definitely think of your new PG also. Because the yes. better lag increases, the more stress factor increases. You are already halfway through. You have to intensify a little bit more, focus on it, and you will be able to get, do well in new PG as well. Yes, definitely. So, wishing you all the very best and uh, looking forward to yet another association so you know with your neat pg preparation we'll yes. be happy to be a part of your journey once again ma'am and one so request that, would love to meet you and sumer sir in delhi oh uh, that's absolutely that's not that shouldn't be a request please whenever you are coming <laughs> sabhi yes. milte, but you know uh, since there was a gap or yes. you are from different cities, whenever you are coming to Delhi, please make it a point to visit us. We will eat and eat and eat. Definitely, I am definitely. And please give my regards and congratulations to your parents also. Yes. I am sure ki they were equally stressed and worried for you. Yes, and wish you all the very best. Blessings of my parents and my brother and my sister-in-law were there. So it That's worked good. out for me. Chalo, apna dhyan rakho. Take Thank care. You, See you soon. Bye-bye. Thank you, ma'am. Bye.